Hello, everybody. Um, here at DFS Chan. Um, I'm here to talk about tomorrow's EU Masters League of Legends slate. Um, uh, EU Masters, for those of you who are not familiar with the region or league, is uh, uh, basically like a tier below uh, LEC. Um, you guys have played LEC slates before. Um, and European Masters is more of like a semi-professional tournament um, consisted of you know, like teams in the tier below. So, for example, you see, you know, these different regions uh, in Europe, Ultra Liga, Prime League and LFL, like in France, Germany and other uh, countries um, where, you know, uh, top teams from those regions kind of come together and play in the European Masters tournament kind of like a UEFA um, tournament in soccer where teams gather around from different regions of Europe within Europe and then um, come together and play against each other to see who the top teams are in Europe. So, yeah, so it, it's an exciting uh, tournament. It happens all the time between uh, spring and summer splits, um, you know, for, for major, major regions, as you, as you probably know, that in other major regions, really the playoffs are going on. So really we're not, we don't really have as many games matches uh, in those uh, respective regions. So this is great that we have this EU master is going on at the same time. Uh, and I'm glad that DraftKings finally added this. And right now uh, tomorrow is, it's the day one of the actual main part of the tournament um, that begins. So it's an exciting uh, slate. It's a six game slate and each is a best of one series. So really the volatility level is pretty high for a best of one series like this, but you know, what can you do? At least we have something to play for and something to play with. Right. So yeah, let's dive in. And these teams are, you know, most, most people do not um, well, frankly, I personally do not watch these teams as closely as, um, uh, you know, the major region teams that we're familiar with talking about. Um, but I have done some research the past couple of days or past several days um, and kind of uh, watched the major like highlights of these teams and kind of learned their tendencies. And I have predictions as to, um, you know, who's going to win and what the kill upside may look like. So tomorrow is, a, like I said, a six-game slate. Here are the odds. Um, Rogue versus Vitality B. Um, Vitality B is a slight favorite. And accordingly, I actually do favor Rogue to win here and pulls off of an upset. I'll kind of go into each matchup after I give you a little overview of predictions. And then Zervena, um, and then Eintracht. Um, I really think Eintracht's going to smash here. Um, but I can definitely see uh, Zervna as like a deep GPP play um, if you want to. But I just don't like the kill upside of this matchup. So I'll dive into that a little, board, a little more after this. And BDS, I like BDS to win here uh, by a lot. Um, and then Atleta uh, versus LDLC. LDLC should win here uh, by pretty good margin, but... Hey, they're they're like a very volatile team in my opinion. They're kind of like evil geniuses in the LCS. If you've played LCS slates, um, they're very volatile. Um, so Atleta could pull off a win. So actually, that makes me like Atleta um, to uh, as as like one of the premier GPP plays in my opinion. Um, and I do think in that kind of scenario where LDLC, LDLC may struggle or something like that, I think the kill upside gets much higher here where LDLC tries to catch up by racking up kills and or later later in the game. So I like that matchup for kill upside and Atlanta Atlanta as the as like a GPP play. And then Unicorns of Love is one of my favorite plays here on this slate. Um, they play bloody and they are a good team. And they've been on in really good form late in the split. Um, so I like Unicorns of Love here. I don't know if I'll give Bisons any chance to win here. I don't, I just don't see many winning paths for Bisons. So that, you know, I think I'm very, uh, you know, strong on, uh, I have a very strong take on Unicorns of Love today. And then last game on the slate is Bifrost versus Fnatic. Fnatic should win and they're also a bloody team. Um, and but Bifrost is actually not that bad, so I, th I think I like Bifrost a lot for a GPP play. 
Um, not not only for the kill upside in this matchup, but also because by Frost is not a bad team. Um, I think they can definitely pull this off um, if they, you know, hit the strides in the top half, the half of the map, in my opinion, against Fanatic's top half, half of the map, which can struggle a little bit at times. So I like that pick as a GPP play Fnatic, but Fnatic should win and they're a bloody team. So really like just looking at the six games overall, the last two games between Bisons and Unicorns of Love and then Fnatic and Bifrost, really those two games are the, you know, the games to target for the kill upside. So any of the teams in, the, in, those, uh, in those two matchups is na naturally makes for a good GPP play. Um, in terms of the actual predictions here, this is what I have, um, but I'll kind of go over, um, actually I'll go over the predictions and I'll go into maybe each matchup and some players uh, for those teams that I like. So, uh, I'll pull it up here. So rogue versus vitality B, um, rogue really, I mean, I, like I said, I like rogue as an upset pick today, um, or tomorrow. Um, I like Vitality B um, as a GPP play, but I, I really do think Rogue has been very dominant in, the, in, the, in their Ultra Liga uh, league um, based on the data. Um, so I really do think Rogue can pull this off. Um, so I think either of those teams is, is a good play, um, but I think Rogue will win. And then Zervena uh, versus Einstein, like I said, um, I like um, Eintracht. Uh, to win here. Uh, I just, like I said, I don't see many winning paths for Zer uh, Verna. Um, I just feel like um, Eintracht, uh, Eintracht's data really stood out to me when I was looking at them. Yeah. Um, and I want to show you a few things here. So um, for Eintracht, I actually love their uh, top laner, Pride. Um, and then their jungle obsess and special. I think special, special is special. I, I really do think special is one of the best mid laners in this tournament. Um, so I can definitely see obsess like the top top half of this map, half of the map for for this team, dominate over uh, Zverna, uh in this matchup. So I like Eintracht a lot here. Um, I just don't see many winning paths for Zverna. And then BDS. Um, I just feel like BDS is a good team um, and they really like have a good team. Aggressivo, I mean, we've heard of him. Um, Zico is really good and she uh, Sheo is really good. Um, and Crown Shot, I mean, you see, you've heard of some of these guys, right? So uh, I like BDS a lot here. Um, like I, again, with the underdog here, I don't see a mini winning pass for ESCA. And I don't say that about every underdog on this slate, as you'll see later on. And then Atleta. Um, like I said, LDLC is good. Like, they can be a very good team, um, but they've been so volatile at times. So I do think um, Atleta makes a very good GPP play um, because of LDLC's volatility. Um, so and I do think this has a sneaky... Sneaky high kill upside based on scenario, game scenario, I think. Yeah. So really the last three matches on the slate, I think I think are projected to be pretty bloody in my opinion. And then Bison's uh, EOL. I think EOL should smash here. Um, I don't know if I'll have a lot of Bison's exposure, um, but EOL uh, is sexy addition. Um, in my opinion, is really good. And Ruby is really the standout to me, the Korean, Korean dude here. And you've heard of Lou Rocks and Ruby. Um, Ruby is going to be really good, I think. I really like him a lot here. Uh, potentially an MVP candidate for the whole tournament. Um, but I just feel like Bison's, uh, when I looked at their data, um, their team is just doesn't look that great. Maybe Gooby, I've heard of him, but that's about it. I mean, random. Uh, so... Um, where is UOL? So, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good lineup here for UOL. And like I said, UOL plays pretty bloody. Um, so I expect to be pretty high in kill upside. Um, and then Fnatic um, versus uh, Bifrost. 
So Fnatic um, TQ, they call themselves now. As the Fnatic Academy team, kind of like Fnatic Rising, I think they used to be called. Um, but they have been, you guys have heard of Rux, and you guys have seen these guys, Maxi. So these guys, I'm, we're familiar, some of us are familiar with these guys, and uh, they have a pretty high kill upside, um, but they've been volatile at times as well. And uh, this matchup actually gives up, uh, is projected to have a high kill upside. So I think Bifrost actually makes a decent uh, GPP pick. Um, I think, you know, like Audi, you've, you've heard of some of these guys here. Um, so I do think by frost makes a great GPP pick as well. Um, and a high kill upside. So really, like I said, the last three matchups, I would target teams from there. Um, mainly if you are playing like, you know, one to 10 lineups or something like that. But if you're playing like 20 or 150 or whatever the case may be, um, I do think, uh, Zaverna makes a deep GPP play. Um, and then maybe vitality B. So yeah, I mean, really uh it's a best of one uh the volatility level is high but in terms of the so kill upside i think it's very important to uh important factor to look at um when you are making decisions like that because of the volatility um i think you kind of have to add another element into your analysis to be able to kind of project as to what's going to happen um and and these last three matchups on the slate i really like the later games um but I do like Rogue to upset in the first matchup and then all the favorites probably to win, except for maybe Atleta or uh, by, 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 by Frost. So I, th I think that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I'll try to make another video for, uh, you know, the later days uh, in the tournament if DraftKings uh, continues having slates on EU Masters uh, tournament games. But um, hopefully you guys found this helpful and informative. If you guys have any questions, let me know on Twitter or any other social media that I'm present on. Um, but if you please like, uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and then hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to watch other videos about other sports. So anyway, if you guys uh, want to just chat league as well, just let me know. Um, I will be available. So have a good one. Good luck, everybody. Bye-bye.